when you go through your awakening, there is a part of the journey where you go through your crazy phase. And you are crazy. I guarantee you're crazy. Some people get stuck there because it's so crazy. But during that crazy phase, I was trying to tell people what was going on and explain to them what was happening. And of course they thought I was crazy. But instead of trying to figure out what was wrong with me, they just, oh, they just ripped me apart. Telling everybody I was crazy. Telling everybody I was on drugs. Me on drugs? Like, I don't even take prescription meds, so there's no way I'm going to be on no street drugs. Doctor tried to give me Percocets. I said, oh, I don't want nothing that's in a rap video. He said, excuse me? There was a nurse that walked by. I said, ma'am, he's trying to give me Percocet. I don't want nothing that's in a rap video. She said, I got you. Gave me tramadol. That shit is worse. But I'm just saying, what do I look like being on drugs? And people know that about my character. However, I was crazy. And it's easier to scapegoat or just to point blame at the person that you don't understand. Instead of trying to understand what, would I, what I was going through. Instead of asking what was I going through. It was just like, she crazy. She on drugs. Listen her. She talking about this. She talking about that. Ooh, I got a little piece of hair on my ice cream. That sucked. I don't like that people did that to me. That was not cool. So in that crazy phase, when you're definitely fucking crazy, you're not crazy at all. What's happening is that you're coming to an understanding. You're awakening. And you know when you're asleep and someone wake you up, Sometimes you'll wake up and it's like, hi, honey. Like I used to wake up Kennedy. Well, all of my kids, I used to wake them up kissing out. I'm like, good morning, good morning, good morning, morning, morning. I used to do that stuff to them and kiss on their neck. But now I'm like, Kennedy, wake your ass. <laughs> it is not that life. No, get up. How many times I got to tell your ass to get up? Sometimes when you wake up, it is not always pleasant. You might wake up to boiling hot water on your face. No, don't wake up like that. Don't do that. But you know what I mean. You might wake up to ice cold water. I had to throw ice cold water on Isaiah before. I had to do all kind of stuff. But awakening is not always easy. Sometimes it is tough. Sometimes it is hard. And when you wake up, you might feel crazy. Like, what the fuck is going on? What the hell is... What is this? Oh my gosh. And everything is starting to come into alignment and you're starting to understand. That shit makes you feel psychotic. And you are psychotic, but you're really not. So while you're waking up and you're coming into awareness of what's going on, you got those people who are asleep. So let's just picture this. Just envision this in your head. You're at summer camp and you jump up and you sweating and you're like, oh shit. And you looking around, you see a couple people walking around, but not that many people. And you see a couple people up, dazzled too. And then you look at your boy, you like, hey, or your girl, you like, hey, hey. And you trying to tell them what's going on. They like, man, be quiet, go back to sleep. Like, what you tripping up? And you like, no, like I know what just happened. Like I know what just happened. Like I'm seeing what's happening. They like, man, you tripping? Go back to sleep. You know, leave it alone, whatever. But you know. Because you were there when well, it's happening. So you know it's happening. Because you was there when it was happening. But your best bud don't get it. So you trying to get up. And you trying to figure out what's going on. And you trying to talk to the other people who are like, did it happen to you? And they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. They going crazy. Or they're like, yeah, what's going on? And y'all just, it's just fucking chaotic in your mind. Because you don't know what's going on. And you trying to get all of your favorite friends. Like you trying to go to Keisha and Daryl and them. And Keisha and Daryl is sleep. They don't want to wake up. You tripper. We got to run and play in the morning. We don't feel like fucking with you and these dreams that you having and these goddamn psychotic episodes. Lay your ass down. And so now you're awakening <laughs> and you're definitely going crazy, but you are not going crazy because you know what's going on and you're realizing big scheme, but you are going crazy because you, you feel me? But you're not. 
So now you gotta start to figure out who really understands what's going on and who doesn't. And that's scary too. And then you're still at the summer camp with the other people who still sleep. Or they sleep walkers. That's the worst ones. Oh, the sleep walkers, the worst one. That might be too deep, so I'm not gonna go there. So we'll just stop at. <laughs> we all wake up differently. And just because we woke up doesn't mean that the people around us are going to wake up, that they want to wake up. Some of them might be sleepwalkers. Some of them may not be ready to accept the fact that they're awake. Some of them, like me, oh, I will lay down for fucking hours and pretend like I'm asleep just so people leave me alone. I don't want to be with the people who sleep or awoke. I want to be left alone. And there's people like that. There's different people at different stages of the awakening or non-awakening process there are some people who we just not gonna wake up but you have to be focused on you and your journey and it may be challenging but eventually you're gonna find the right people you're gonna find the other people who are awoken you're gonna find the right path and it won't be so scary because I'm not crazy anymore I'm still crazy but I'm not crazy anymore because now I understand and now I get it once you understand it, you get it, the crazy feeling will go away. However, you do have to go through that crazy phase. You just have to go through it. And whatever happens then, happens then. You, you leave the crazy phase in the crazy phase.